Hello everyone, it's me Carmen coming back at you for Fancy Show Tech. Today I want to share a little cool tool I found when I was actually trying out Tidal, the new music streaming service which I'll have a video on in the future. But this is a pretty cool tool I found in that process that pretty much lets you convert playlists from one service to another. So let's say you have music playlist on Spotify that you want to put on Tidal or turn into an iTunes playlist. With this tool it's pretty much just a few clicks of a mouse button and you can just convert your playlist. Now it isn't perfect because not all of the tracks that are on one service are always on the other. For example, I had a few Spotify tracks that I had converted into a Tidal playlist and not all of the Spotify tracks were actually on Tidal. But it's still a pretty cool service and it saves you a whole lot of handiwork. Before I forget to mention the name of the service is Soundies and you can find a link in the description below. So to get started we're on the home page right now. Always click start converting. You'll see this screen right here. You have Spotify, Tidal, YouTube, Audio, SoundCloud, Playlist File. You have all sorts of options for converting playlists. So let's connect to Spotify. Wait for it to load. I already have my Spotify connected. If you didn't, it would just prompt you to log into Spotify's service. And just to test it out, I'll connect it to Tidal, which should already be connected to. So now we've got Spotify and Tidal, and just to show you how easy it is to convert a playlist, I'll find one. So let's just go down here. I'll just convert, I have a Daft Punk playlist right here, I'll just, you just click this little button, the first one right here, that looks like an arrow coming out of a box. And it's pretty simple, you select a destination platform, which is Tidal. You'll see information to success rate will vary. Convert. It'll take like maybe a minute to convert. This isn't a very big playlist, but playlists have like a ton of songs in them. Like, will take longer than smaller playlists. I had one playlist with about 150 songs and it. it took about a minute or two. It wasn't even that bad, but it it won't just like be done that quickly with all playlists. So convert and process. And as you can see, the conversion was successful for all the tracks. If they didn't have a track, it would say like track not found right here. It's a pretty easy service to use and get the hang of, and I would say it's a pretty beneficial service to have. It just simply takes playlists you already have and lets you convert them to other services, and that's a really good feature to have because I have lots of songs on Spotify that I like listening to, but it would take me forever to find all of the songs I have in one playlist and add them to another and sort through them. This pretty much cuts out all of that work and does it automatically so you don't have to do any of that yourself and you can see all of your Spotify playlist here it shows you all of your title playlist I imagine if you connected YouTube it would show you your YouTube playlist it's a pretty well-rounded service and it gets the job done there isn't support for everything like as you can see there's no like Google music support on here or anything but overall, it's still a wonderful service, and I would definitely recommend it. Thanks for watching, you guys. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. I'm curious to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Which streaming service do you like? Spotify, Tidal, Apple Music, and why do you like it? I hope to do a comparison video soon about Tidal and compare it to other services as well as Apple Music. I'm still working on looking into those and really testing them out, but... For now, I hope all of you have a good one, and peace out, guys.